Hey, what's going on? This is going to be a lesson for your decision by Allison Chains. It's going to FYLGuitarist.com. Um, check it out, sign up, and uh, register. Request a song, chat on the forums, and stuff like that. We're trying to get it going, trying to get more people on, and trying to get more active. So, uh, anyway, this is kind of a cool tune. I just learned it. And uh, so, there's kind of a verse and chorus, and two bridgey parts that. Uh, <clears throat> that I'm not quite exactly sure when I'm, I'll play along with the song. I'm not exactly sure when each one comes in, so sometimes we're a little late on it. But uh, the basic verse and chorus starts in the E. By the way, you're tuned down half step, so you can either use your tuner, just put it on the flat setting, which is the first kind of flat, and then tune it that way. Or you can put a capo on your first fret, tune it to standard, and then take your capo off, and then you're on stand or you're in tuned down half step. So um, it's going to be an E to a G and a D. C. So there's a quick change from your um, G to your D. But it kind of goes like. Like that. And that's kind of like the whole kind of verse. And like I said, it. it there's like two bridgey parts because the chorus is sung over that as well. So the verse and chorus is that, and there's a like the bridge one is a D and an F and a C add nine and then a G and then back to the D F. Uh, then the next one, the other bridge part, the other little different part is um, a power chord on your third fret, sixth string. This could be on your sixth string, third fret your fifth and fourth strings on your fifth fret. You also want to have your uh, ring finger there on your third string of your fourth fret. And you'll take that one and you'll slide that same position up to your fifth and seventh fret. And you're going to play E minor and then add your, your other two fingers there on your third fret. So you'll be on your fifth and fourth strings on your second fret and your second and first strings on your third fret to a D and then back to this. And then slide that and then back to your E and your D. So after you come around to your D the second time, then you go to a C add 9. And instead of putting your um, pinky on your um, first fret there, to just leave it off. So leave your first first string open. Because then it'll, it'll play that, and then it's going to pick through it. And then go back into it. So I'll play along here. And uh, like I said, I might be, when it goes to the change, I can't remember when or I don't. Maybe I should learn better before I show you, but I can't remember exactly when it goes to different bridge parts. So, um, if I'm a little bit late, mind my manners.
that's pretty much it. They do, uh, they do play that the other bridge part once and the, this other part once. So, um, yeah. Anyway, any questions? Uh, feel free to ask. But the the whole thing with that song is kind of the timing of it. So, uh, yeah. If you have any problems or whatever, just uh, let me know.